Let's move forward. What are some of the, the things that have you still irritated around the industry? Like, what are some of the... We don't the own st- our shows. Got you. Like, it's, for me, it's, that's the saddest part. If we were in the, when you, when you go to the States and you hear about showrunners or whatever the case may be, or production companies, it's almost unfathomable to them. I don't even think I pronounced that right. That we don't. We <laughs> what you were saying. That we don't even own it. Like it's yeah. not ours at all. Yeah. And I'm not saying I get it. It's we're commissioned, and I'm not saying that uh, the broadcasters should release all ownership yeah. on it because they're paying for it. But at least some of that IP has to be retained within the people that created it. Um, so that's I think the biggest gripe. That's why us doing films is. One of the exciting, which most is, exciting things in the Which world. is really exciting because when, when that was announced, I was just like, what? We just woke up, it was a normal day. <laughs> now I have I my back against the wall. That day like, what the hell? Out. Yeah, I remember. I remember. And, really and, well. Yeah, and if you're like, no, you have to come in for a. Obviously, we pitched for it. There was a call out. They do this call. It's called the yeah. Fiction uh, Film Slate. Uh, the previous slate people are Ketu and Mobo, who's mm. done. Um, uh, Mrs. Right Guy and the new Tando Taveto movie that should be coming out and Junaid, who's sadly passed on, but he did um, Hard to Get, Happiness as a Four-Letter World and Keeping Up with the Kan- Kanasamis, and he nailed it. I mean, he got double digits at the box office, so that's okay. exciting. So this next wave, it's obviously Coal Stove, Branded Soul and Burnt mm. Onion. Um, the most exciting thing. Like, I know we complain about our government a lot and yeah. we say, you know, oh, what are they doing? But in this sector, I must commend them because yeah. they don't have to do this. They don't have they to, don't. but they're trying to create sustainable black businesses as well and a sustainable industry. This mm. is what they're trying to achieve with the film slates. And so, and so, how do you, how did you become a part of that? For any independents uh, looking forward to, uh, you know, doing something like this, how do they sort of get on the journey? Well, NFEF often puts out briefs, um, a call to entry. Literally, it was a call to entry, I think about three years ago. Call to entry about, you know, if you were given a film state, what kind of, you know, basically a business plan and whatever. Yes, the documentation is a lot, but then get someone to help you with it. But it's literally like a brief that, you know, broadcasters send out. I'm sure they'll have one very soon as well, because this one is about to uh, lapse over. So. Enter, guys. NFEF always has calls. Like, they give funding for your development. They give funding for production. Just actually submit something. I'm trying to figure out from you and everyone else, actually, how we can make better the numbers at (laughs) these cinemas. Because you're, you're excited to do the film. Yeah, but it's a scary thing. But you still have some sort of target. Yes. I... I mean... We can't, I know the argue, there's an argument of we don't have enough cinemas or in the, the townships. The cinemas aren't with the people, yeah. But when you look at a Tyler Perry movie numbers, and I don't have them top of hand, they spike mm. up. They do. And that's mostly black people watching it. Yeah. In fact, the country is mostly black people. So what is that saying to you? When you have Black Panther making the numbers that it's doing, mm. What is that saying to you? There so, is an so audience. There's a lot of marketing, though, that goes to the people. Yes, absolutely. So do our do our cinemas or do our films okay. have... I'm going to just pause you there for, for the Swag Skills. <laughs> <laughs> So we were talking about... Um, Marketing. The marketing. So we're saying that the numbers are a problem they, in they. cinema. Yeah. But You're the, saying if a Tyler Perry movie can be... Uh, if Black Panther made what it did in this country, why aren't do, our movies doing that? And you said it. Mm, marketing. marketing. It is a marketing thing. Because, and, okay, it's, it, I think it's twofold. It's marketing and the type of stories that we're trying to tell. Yeah, we'll never, we'll never get to know what the, what the stories are if we don't market. So the, the huge thing about Black Panther was that there was a narrative in the film and outside the yeah, film. Yeah, because people were like, I don't want to be left out. It's yeah. that whole, remember when Sunday nights on Mzanzi Magic were a yes. thing? Like, it's like, oh, but I also have to watch OPW and Day My Family to be part of the conversation on Twitter. And, and there was natural marketing about it. People had a need for it. People loved seeing themselves on TV. So that was like, well, if I stand to be corrected, I stand to be corrected because I think that's why Sundays 
worked on, uh, or on still work on, on... Yeah, on, we used to have Pride Sundays yeah. so, <laughs> watching Idols. So what I'm trying to figure out is how... Why aren't we winning when it comes to cinema? It's that marketing. How many... I did a focus group last week and I asked them about a few movies that have come out in the last couple of weeks. They haven't heard of them. I haven't heard of any film. Except Phil. Phil, thank you for the updates. Like, <laughs> those are good. But that's what I'm saying. Mm. And that shouldn't be. Well, we know because we're in the industry, right? But yeah. now I was just talking about to the general public who... Like an accountant yeah, who's just Yeah, accountants, to... moms, they go to the movies, whatever. Yeah. And then I was like, have you heard of this? And they went... What's that? And then mm. I named the stars in it, and they're like... What are you talking about? I, I mean, we've had films like Catching Feelings and all these things that were hardly seen by this country, and I say hardly because of the numbers. Yes. Like, the numbers weren't... I mean, many people could have seen them because, you know, of the sales that happened at the robots or whatever. But we'll never get to capture those numbers <laughs> because, that's you know, that's, that's just how... But I, 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 you're right. You're, it's just a marketing thing. I think we need to get to the people and create a conversation that's exciting. People like Tapelo Mukwena are trying. Yes. You know, he's got that gassy... Movie nights yeah. and stuff like that. But I, I think it's what... also the type of the stories. Okay. How often do we get stories... And, OK, I'm now going to also stand corrected. In the last year, maybe, they're slowly starting. You're having rom-coms coming out. Yeah. I'm talking about commercially viable films. I think the perception that the public also has is that we tell stories about apartheid, about yeah. rape, about this, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. That's fine. But if the perception is that that's all we do, like our stories are so serious and I'll... And that means we <sighs> haven't changed the narrative. If you, if you get money to develop a film for, what, two years? Yeah. That's a lot of money, no? No. <laughs> OK, no. this is a misconception as well. So <laughs> it's like, if you apply for funding to the interviewer for development for your yeah. script, they pay an X amount. So it's not, yeah, well, yeah. whatever it is. It's not that. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not that it's over, they give you that over two years. That's just what you get for one script. So it's the same sort of vibes with, yeah, so it's the okay. nine films and then, you know, so it's not like, so we've taken this long also because Kat and I wrote the first two and it took longer because we got caught up in making, you know, TV shows, which is yeah. very bad, um, not wise, some learnings that we've taken from that. Mm. But now we're going to shoot them back to back. So it's like three films back to back. Gonna Fatigue? Be Nah, I don't think so. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not going to be fatigue because firstly, oh, we're, di we're making, I don't know if I should a announce this. Yeah. A, a director <laughs> debut. Debut, yeah. Kat nice. and I are, uh, are doing the first one. It's called Seriously Single. Uh, the cast will be announced very soon. We're very Epic. excited about it's it. It's Pinky Girl. About <laughs> joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I wanted it to audition, though. Um, and then there's another one called Lobola Man. Um, nice. Kat wrote that one. Uh, very cool. It's about a Lobola negotiator, negotiate, a professional Lobola negotiator. Crazy. So it's going to be fun. Here's then. that comedy thing coming through. Exactly. Amazing. That's how we pitched it as. It's commercially viable films. And the last one is called Disaster Holiday. It's like a family who goes yeah. on a road trip. 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 Like <laughs> and an everything. Are we there yet? Yeah, Saturday. exactly. So, yes, we've taken a while to get to the point that we are, but we're ready to just be like, bam, 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 bam. Ten years. And this is what you're doing yes. 10 years later. Some companies, 25 years, they don't even get to Do sort of kind of stuff, yeah. talk like this. I think you've done a very big, you know, um, or rather, I think you've become a very big part of the industry just by sort of doing stuff on the side. This is, you know, some people, I would say, like myself, always loud about things and want these things to be known. but. When I look at yeah, you... Yeah, I always, I always <laughs> say that to you. I'm like, oh, legend, yeah. posting about everything. <laughs> yes, everything must be known because, you know, marketing budget is next yeah. to none. So I always have to talk about my projects from script, from actual inception. Yeah. Because I, I, I can't afford to lose out on the opportunity that somebody is listening now. And, you know, maybe three months down the line when the project's uh, coming together, they are kind of bored or irritated or going through their own things. So I'm always trying to capture the now because I'm in the now. The excitement of the now for me is what gets me going. And I think I tweeted this the other day is that there are key people in the industry that keep it exciting outside of our silos that you know if Patu's writing a script, that I'm looking forward to that. You know if Porsche's writing a script, I'm looking but forward to that. But you'll never know, really. I'll just be like, oh, I'm sort of writing. Yeah, and I'm, all, I'm always <laughs> like, I never know what Ritzy's doing until it's... On, it's on, like, on, promo. In, like, uh, yeah, promo. <laughs> like, you were on holiday, you were doing this, you were doing... 
When did you get time to do this stuff? I don't even know myself. But it's worked for you. And I think you gain a lot of respect by this uh, sort of perceived silence. It's weird. I, it, how do you guarantee, because we all know that each producer and each creative has an audience for themselves as well. Mm. People follow you. You know, like when you stop saying seriously, <laughs> people, people like, what stop. Happened? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. But I'm trying to say, like, how do you keep your audience engaged? Well, I think it's 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 a it's not that I don't post. Maybe I'm not outrightly like, oh, yeah, working like on a new crime yeah. drama, <laughs> you know, thing. It's I do. I'm just saying, working on something, and if it is something you want to announce, we'll announce. But we also have this whole thing of like, let's just do the thing, and then the thing will speak for itself. Got you. Um, I do post, <laughs> as you said, it's mostly travel. Mm. It's a lie. I also work very hard. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Definitely. <laughs> but I, I, it's it's such a personal process as well. I was saying being a creative is so personal. It's just like you birth this baby, then you give it to the world to judge. Yeah. <laughs> and then people yeah. are like, your baby yeah. is so ugly. It's also just very tough. It is tough. Yeah. So. I actually post a lot more than tap on cat. I mean, maybe you should yeah, get cat on this I, I, I follow both and I'm just like, what's Tepo doing? Just, his glasses are broken today. Yeah, exactly. That's what I know, you know, and he's, and, yeah. You know, you heard cat was in America for so AFM. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm just like, post more, guys, post more. But, you, you were know. posting more for him. Than yeah, exactly. Himself. I was like, yeah. oh, look at cat. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's just how we've always moved in the circle that we do. So the hints and the things. But somehow we've created a perception that we're always busy because when I yeah. meet people, they're like, oh my God, you guys are... Like, yeah, I think I the know, silence like... also lends, lends, lends to that. Like, oh, they're on set. Like, you're supposed to be on set today. I know, I you... don't even know. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, what are you looking forward to for our industry? Um, like, where in your mind is it going? And what is it that you look forward to in that? I look forward to a shift in sort of, you know, new players in our industry and Netflix coming out. I've already heard that they've already, already got their first South African drama series. So nice. I'm excited about that. Competition is always good. I look forward to SABC getting ducks in a row, you know, yeah. you know, and, you know, because a lot of companies depend on it. Definitely. Um, but mostly what I'm looking forward to from our part is these films, hopefully mm. breaking double digits at the box office. Amazing. Um, it will. I, it has it to. Will. It, it has will. to. We There's all no... need to rally behind them. Yeah. And but it... I don't want you to just rally behind them because I... they're South African films. That's sure. what, something I also have an issue with. But to build the, 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 um, the, movie the culture watching. again, yeah. you have to. You, ha you have to, be, and, and, and it doesn't take away anything from your film. You know, it's like Baby Mamas. We all have to go watch no, that absolutely. film. We all had to because it was made here and... But at the same time, yeah. we also can't expect audiences just to do that because it's South African. Of course. So it my has story, to be good. My story has yeah. to be good. has Definitely. to be... So if I say to people, go watch this film, yeah. I got asked. Someone said, what movie... I want to watch a movie this weekend. What should, I, what should I watch? And they said... And I said, go see Baby Mamas. Yeah. And they said... Is it a good film or is it a good South African film? But this, this see, is what that, I'm trying to say, is that the culture, be... the culture of, 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 of film in this country is that, you know, we're almost judging it from afar without actually watching it. Exactly. We actually should have constructive criticism, go in there, watch it, and have something to say about it, mm. and find the good and the bad. That it betters the filmmaker, it betters the people who, the who go watch it. It, yeah. it just, which is why I always say people like Tiernes and... Uh, Phil and all these critics that almost enjoy doing what they do, but also lend to our kind of betterment. You know, I think it's very important for us to actually build it from that level um, as well. So I am going to watch your film because I'm looking forward to what you've made. Yes. But also I'm looking forward to what a South African person but in our time can do. Can but do. I want people to also see the thing is I also don't want people to feel fatigue of like saying, oh. Another South African film that we sure. want to watch. I want you to go, there's Tyler Perry opening and then there's Seriously Single coming yeah. out. Which one am I going to see? Ah, that one looks like it's going to be really dope. So I, I have to thank you for this chat. Um, thank you, legend. I hope I wasn't too Stop formal. stealing our presenter ideas, wow. you know, just like, you know, it's really <laughs> awkward. I haven't had a presenter job in a while. Wow. But... Hi, thanks this so much really for awkward. having me. <laughs> this has been cool. I really appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate this. But like more so, like you are very inspiring and I think, you know, 
some of the people in my team I've spoken to and I really hold you in high regard. Um, continue, you. continue, continue for yourself, continue for your family and then us because we're watching. I appreciate it. But thank you so much. This cool. is a great initiative and I'm very proud of you. Cool. Legend used to sit in our offices <laughs> and pretend. I he used had to an put, office, yeah. yeah, he used to put his feet like, up. And I'd be like, office. what are you doing? But now look, it's he has a real out. office. Yeah. <laughs> Probably better than mine. No, not actually. It's just, it's just the boardroom. <laughs> oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Spice Girls. Good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Jeez. How awkward. <laughs> it was Spice Girls thing. <laughs>